Hey, what's up guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I was doing a little Bible study here and just praying and talking to God and and he really put on my heart something um, that I've been doing as of late and I want to share with you that maybe it can help your spiritual walk as it's helped mine. You know, often we, we get to study in the Bible and we become very knowledgeable about the scripture in our head. And that's a great thing. The Bible says, study the sh to show thyself approved. But one thing I've seen in certain Christian circles is you can get so knowledgeable, you, you can tend to use the Bible as a bat, or you tend to become prideful because of your, your work and your scripture knowledge and your um, just information you're now exposed to and aware of. And what I want to challenge you with with this video is to pray and ask God for His Word to always penetrate your head as well as your heart. And try to pray in that prayer over the next few weeks. God, help your Word to penetrate my head and my heart. You know, the Bible says um, in Jeremiah, I was looking up Jeremiah 17, 9, The heart is deceitful above all things beyond cure. Who can understand it? So you have to be careful just following your heart because you don't have any guidelines. You don't have any parameters. The heart can be very emotional and tell you certain things that might not be scriptural. You might, the Bible also says the ways of men are right in his own eyes. So a lot of times we think we're going right. We think we are doing what God wants from us. But if it's not in his scripture, it's not necessarily true. It's not true. And we need to be careful of that. On the flip side of that, this legalistic kind of eliminating, you know, John 14, I think it is, says Jesus was full of grace and truth. Another part of the Bible says, it's your kindness, Lord, that leads us to repentance. So I think equally as dangerous as a heart-led worship or a heart-led uh, kind of ministry or spiritual walk is an intellectual head knowledge spiritual walk. And I see this sometimes, particularly in an older generation. The younger generation sometimes can act too much on emotion and and not have enough, as Apostle Paul said, not enough meat of the word. We're going too much. Sometimes we worship worship, and we want the crowds and the, and the energy and the emotion without really knowing the meat of the word. The older generation, sometimes I find, this is just a, a generalization, not everyone, sometimes can be very legalistic, and they're eliminating grace because they have the answers. They want to use their knowledge in a Bible as a way of enforcing what they know. When it's only by the grace of God that you have that knowledge, that someone showed you and someone uh, taught you to read the Bible and study that. So I want to challenge you with this video. Make that your prayer. Say, God, help everything I do, whether it's ministry work at my church, outside the church, whether I'm Bible studying prayer, help it to always penetrate my head as well as my heart. Because like Jesus in John 14, he was full of grace and truth. And that needs to be our goal, to always and our spiritual walk each day be full of grace and truth. Hope this helps you guys. I love you. God bless you.